Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon. Out of the digital world, there's a Netflix movie called Blackout. No idea what's coming out. Is it worth blacking out for? Let's find out. So Blackout, what's about? It's a very simple premise, actually. You have Josh Dumel. Who is he? Is he drug cartel? Is he DEA? Is he FBI? Is he a CIA? Who knows? But he wakes up in a hospital in Mexico, and now he's got to figure out, who are these people trying to kill me? Is this lady a good lady, or is she trying to kill me too? Who's the good guys? Who's the bad guys? DEA? Nick Nolte? Let's find out. So, did I like this film? It's not really a good film at all, but it's an action film that you could turn on for an hour and 20 minutes. That is it. It's a very short hour and 20 minute movie and go, yeah, it's a serviceable movie, but don't expect anything fantastic. So with that, we will go with the pauses of the movie. I think the action set pieces and the fighting choreography really work decently well for an action movie of this caliber and budget. It works. And I was like, never bored. Action, action, action for an hour and 20 minutes. Like, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Even though the story, you're like, eh, the action on some characters Let's talk about Nick Nolte later. And then just some of the Hispanic characters are just like, you're just there to get beaten up. And that is that. So let's just go with the negatives now. Uh, the acting is fine. Josh Jamel, he does the best in the movie that he can. But he really isn't doing a lot. He's doing a lot of the fight choreography, which is really cool. And shooting the guns, which is cool. Which it looks like they are using at least blanks or something in this movie. Because unlike The Matrix 4... There's actually rounds going out of the chamber in this movie. Unlike The Matrix, it's like, da, 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 and then where, where, the, where are the casings? Where the, there's no casings? At least in this movie, there are casings coming out of the guns. So even though that could be a negative or positive, whatever. Nick Nolte is not looking good. That's not saying he should be acting. Actually, he should be retiring. I mean, Nick Nolte, you had a great run. I think you have enough money. It's time to just call it quits. You're getting old. You're not Quinn Eastwood. It's okay. So it's okay to be done. And then the story, you've seen it a million times before. Do I trust this person? Is this person good? Is this person bad? And you kind of know exactly who the good people are in this film. I will say there was an interesting twist at the very end, which like, oh, okay, that's kind of fun. But other than that, it's a story you've seen a million times before. Uh, the set pieces, as well as the production design, is very bare minimum. I think they either did it on a set or they found an abandoned building in the middle of nowhere and they said, you know what? Let's just put some drywall up, some paint, and make it look like a hospital. But you can totally tell it was not a real hospital on any level. I don't know what else to say about this movie, Blackout. It's an action movie that you could put on for an hour and 20 minutes and be like, yeah, this is not a good movie, but it's serviceable for what it is showing on the screen. Eh. What? I have nothing else. Sorry, peeps. So Blackout will receive a 2 out of 5 of futons, which equals that 40%. See the critics news scores gave this one. So you have critics, 3 of them. We'll see what they say, but audience score an 11% with over 100. For critics, we have 1 positive, 2 negative. So that's a 33%. But we have a 6 out of 10, a 4 out of 10, and a four and a 2 out of 5. So 40s and 60s. So, the critics are basically like, yeah, it's an action movie, uh, it's uninspired, but it's an hour and 20 minutes of just, you know, decent action set pieces, and that is what this action movie is supposed to do. Even though the poster kind of gives you a John Wick vibe, it's not a John Wick vibe at all. So anyway, 33, 40, 11. Chase out with the Blue Futon, like, comment, subscribe. Home of the thing is Futontopia, you Blue Futonians, thanks for watching, have a fantastic day, peace and love. Don't black out. When's the last time I blocked out? May 2020. That's when I blocked out. And then before that, May 2024. What's with Mays and blacking out?